Hey guys, Exo Sloppy's back. I'm um, giving you guys a review on my pellets that I bought for my 22 caliber Hot Sun 1000 Striker. Ugh. So let's get a look. Um, get these. All right. So the first up is the Crossman Premiers. They're 500 count lead pellets. They're called the Ultra Magnums, and these are a hunting pellet. Um. I'll get to the full in-depth review in a minute. Next up are the H&N Barracudas. Um, these are just their regular dome, but you can see that they have like more of a point right there. Um, I don't know what that is for. I guess it's for aerodynamics. Um, but I do love how they have all this information right there. Get my thumb out of the way. It's 200. Um, they weigh 21.14 gr grains or 1.37 grams. They have five or four out of five precision. They're for hunting. Five out of five distance. They're a 5.5 millimeter or a 22 cal. And these create less than 25 joules, which I think is around 20 to 22 foot pounds. Um, I don't we use joules. I use foot pounds. And then my last one is the Beeman. Kodiaks, um, I guess I'll open these up. The only thing I hate, the reason I have this electric tape on here is because, um, what beam, what has, with Beeman's is, these are screw caps, these right here, you can screw on the caps. With this, it just pops right open. All you gotta do is lift it up. And that's awesome, and then that sucks. Because, the reason it's awesome is you don't have to waste like five seconds unscrewing. Oh, wow. Oh, there goes some of the can. Wow. Oh, man, this stuff is sticky. Oh, well, that one had the most pretty looking lid, but it's a lid. Uh, yeah, it used to say Kodiak right here, and it used to say 22 cal 5.5 millimeter. It's a 200 grain, or it's 200.14 grains, uh, 200 of them. And get that under there. So we'll go left to right. Uh, I don't know if these will. Yeah, that's. Uh, uh, who cares? Okay, first up is the Crossbin Dome. I'm, I forgot to say, these are a 14.3 grain pellet. Let's zoom in on here. Focusing? There we go. So the this pillar right here is the uh, Crossman Premier Domes. Um, this is the pellet I've been shooting the most. As I don't know if you saw the ten, but it's almost well. I still got maybe two thirds left, sixty six percent of the ten left. And um, this is my main shooting pellet. I mean, I'm just shooting this around until I get ten cans. You know, just breaking in the gun with all this. Uh, it's a great pellet for planking all that. Um, I mean, out of my hot sign, it's probably going about 750 to 780 feet per second. I don't have a chronograph again. I'm sorry. I emailed hot sign to actually, actually emailed hot sign um, to figure out their velocity numbers. And I am, I have yet to get a response. So, um... Let's get on with the view. So, it is a traditional dome pellet. Let's see if I can get that focused. Alright. Will that focus? Sorry for this. Um, let's go right here. It's just a traditional dome. Nothing special about it. Um, these are um, pretty decent, but... As you can see, compared to the H and M Barracudas, these are look. They look a little nicer, a little more consistency out of them. Versus the Crossmans, that's just one thing Crossman could improve their consistency. The um, polish is pretty nice for you guys. Um, it's actually a little darker right here in real life. Um, I do have all the lights down here on. Um, so let's get on. 
Um, this is a great pellet just for shooting around and small game. I would recommend this for in the 22 caliber version if you have a a low low power um, Springer. I would recommend using something a little lighter than 14.3 grains because if your air guns ready at like 750 FPS, which most medium power Springers are, you then of course people inflate their velocities. You'll probably be looking around 600 FPS with this, which I mean isn't bad. I mean, it's probably be a little unideal. I mean, this is just a hunch on me. I mean, if you had a really low-powered Springer like the uh, Gamma Big Cat, I know one of my friends, his only puts out about 10 foot-pounds. I don't know if he got a weak one or what, but his puts out 10 foot-pounds. Another one of my friends has one. It barely puts out 12 so, the 14.3 grain pellet, I wouldn't recommend it. Again, that's just my two friends. I mean, I guess they both got crappy ones. I'm not sure. But, um, I mean, it's a great pellet if you have those nicer springers um, or gas guns like the Nitro Piston line or the IGT from Gamo or the Vortex line from Hotson. Um,. I don't know of any other people that make gas guns or other gas um, rams that are made by other people. But um, yeah, this is a great pellet. Um, it's on the light side for general pellets, I mean, I think the average overall pellet that includes from 177 to 20 to 22 to 25 caliber is around like 18 or 17 grains. This is just average, adding all of the pellet weights up. Um, all the common ones, like 7.9 for um, 177, 14.3 for 22. Um, I don't know what it was for 20, I think it was like 10. Then like 20 grains for the 25. And then you got all the other ones in between. You add them all up and do all your math stuff. But anyway, back to review. So this is a decent weight pellet. Um, it's on the average side for the 22 Springers. Um, great pellet for a small game, like rabbits, squirrels, jackrabbits. Um, I wouldn't recommend this for something like raccoon or possum, as they are, t they tend to be a little bit thicker skinned game. Or not thicker skinned, but just a little tougher to take down. Um, a little nastier when they get hit, versus a cottontail rabbit or a squirrel, which... Well, probably won't attack you at all. So, um, get this out of the so out of the way, and get on to the next pellet. Now, this is the pellet I want to mind taking a coon with. This is the H and N Barracuda. Um, it's a 21.14 grain pellet. Um, it actually went the farthest in my phone book testing, but I'll get to that at the end. Um, as you see, it is a little pointed at the top. Um, I'm guessing this is for penetration and aerodynamics, but I mean, I could be wrong. I mean, I don't work at H&N. I mean, they got 4 out of 5 precision, but they got 5 out of 5 distance, which is pretty common for heavyweight dome pellets. They're pretty good at long range. So, um, I haven't shot this a whole lot, as I only have 110 of 200. Um, so I don't mean I don't want to use all mine up. And this seems like a really great hunting pellet. I will definitely order more of these. Um, this is on the heavy side for my gun. It's probably putting out about 600 to 650 with the this pellet. Probably a little round, yeah, probably around that area, 650, 600. Anywhere in that area, or even probably even lower. Maybe 580 FPS. Um, so let's keep this going. Um, I mean, I wouldn't recommend it for those really low power ones that are delivering 15 foot pounds or less. Um, this would be a great pellet if you're those people out there with the Marauders. Um, I mean, that's a PCP air rifle. They generally are able to push these pellets faster than uh, spring guns. I mean, it just depends on what you get on both sides or what you're comparing. But, um, great pellet. I mean, I wouldn't be afraid to take a raccoon with it, but I would love to have the, mo the perfect rifle. Um, 
with the hot song 1000 striker 1000 s striker um with the vortex gas ram i would be hesitant but it's extremely doable i mean i've heard people taking it out with those the cheap crossman phantoms and i actually might get one of those cheap crossman phantoms just as my first 177 caliber springer or i might get the trail or the jeep titan gp because just because it has the gas ram but anyway, this is a great pellet for those more high power spring air guns or those um, PC pair, PCP air rifles that are pretty high power. Um, I mean, I know the Daystay Wolverine, they have a 60 foot pound version. Plop this in one of those, you got a raccoon gun. So, let me get this out of the way and get on to the Beemans. Oh, one thing I want to show grab that and grab another H&N is look at their consist oh just look at that consistency I mean they look like they were twins or something I mean for, I don't know if you guys can see but real great consistency out of here if you watch Air Gun Reporter he actually has a grain scale and he weighs them out and he finds that I'm per I think like out of all the ones he picked up, I think they were pretty much all consistent. But anyway, here's the Beemans, the Kodiaks. I haven't shot many of these either. Um, can't tell you too much about them, except they are extremely accurate. I've only shot these with iron sights, though, I will say. Um, haven't had a chance to use them through my scope, because I may only use the Crossman domes. Oh, dear for shooting and I don't have to readjust until I have to have on going out hunting something like a raccoon or a possum so anyway on to the pellet um it went the second farthest in the phone book testing which I again I will get to later and the crossman's went the th um, least farthest farthest um it's a great pellet um it really looks like the H&N's the Barracuda let me get this out um I mean, they both are the same weights. I mean, from your guys' angle, I guess that the skirts are a little different. This has a little bit of a wider skirt. This has a little bit of a tighter one. But it doesn't matter. So, this is a this has a really more pronounced tip than the H and N's do. Um, again, I would. Say this is more for those powerful springers, you know, the PCPs. Um, not exactly your disco pellet, but, I mean, it would be definitely doable out of that. Uh, of course, you'd get a lower um, velocity rating, which in turn would probably um, put your energy down a little. But, I mean, it's all worth it because you will retain probably... Um, 10 to 20, or, or I mean not 10 to 20, 10 to 30 percent more energy than these 14.3 grain pellets. Um, that's just a guess because I know that heavier pellets will always retain more energy. It's the same for um, rifles, centerfire rifles. Um, you'd rather be packing a 200 grain bullet versus 180 grain bullet if you're going out on moose hunt, um, or at least I would be. But anyway, that's a that's firearms. We're talking about air gun pellets. Um, great pellets. Um, I'm really surprised it didn't beat the H&N. I think the H&N beat it just by like 50 pages. I mean, this is just like your ordinary phone book. It was like a, it's like a yellow page, 2007 to 2008. I mean, this real thin, and I had it all pressed up. I don't. It wasn't wet. Um, I will try to do a wet phone book review. I will. Um, Put in a thing of water until I go out shooting. Um, that way it will be completely soaked up, um, ready to go. But let's see. What else can I say about the Beemans? Um, extremely accurate. Great, um, great consistency again. Um, I mean, these both are the H&Ns and the Beemans, both German pellets. While as I think the Crossmans are Chinese made, which I don't like. Um, but that's again different story. 
great pellets, um, great overall um, crossbands. I would suggest more for plinking. These babies right here, definitely for hunting. I mean, raccoon, or, I mean, squirrel to raccoon. I mean, it, it'd be doable. Again, I'd watch distance, especially on those coons. Um, I would also watch accuracy on them. Um, squirrels, rabbits, this would just tear them up. I mean, no doubt about it, these demons are just monsters. But I'll get out the whole roll for you. Beeman, um, H and N. Sorry, I'm looking through my cam the camera to see, and I have lag on here, for me at least. Uh, oh. There we go. So from left to right, the Beeman Kodiak Extra Heavy 21.14 grain bullet pellet, um, superb hunting pellets. Um, not as good as the H and N though, and penetration after that one test. Um, middle, the H&N Barracuda Regulars, not the Extremes, um, excellent penetration, beat the Beemans, 21.14 grain pellets, excellent for hunting those larger game raccoons and, uh, possums, game of that nature, and then on the far right is the Crossman Domes, the Ultra Magnum Premiers, or the, no, the Crossman Premier Ultra Magnums, they're the dome pellets. All these are domes. Uh, it's 14.3 grain pellet. Great planking and just having fun around pellets. Um, small game only, I would say. Squirrel, rabbit. Possibly, if you lived out west, jack rabbit. I um, mean, if I was going to hunt some of that, I'd have a little bigger pellet. Maybe 15 grain, 16 grain. I mean, that's just me. I mean, they're bigger than your cottontail rabbits. Um, and deserve a little more hit behind them but um that's just me so these are my three pellets i will do another review on these or not on the crossmans but the um h and n the and the beemans but um like i said i'll talk um so what happened in the phone book i don't know if i actually upload that video or not yet i will get on that um i've been having troubles with my computer don't know when this will be uploaded. Um, so um, the H and N one, like I said, made me maybe 50 pages extra. I mean, it, it just left a welt. I mean, this is all from maybe 18, 15 yards away. I mean, this is not scientific. I was just got an old phone book, set it up about 15, 18 yards away from my position. I have not measured this. Um, I mean, all I can, for all I can know, it's 10, 15 yards, not 15 to 18. But anyway, H&N got real great penetration. Um, Beemans actually didn't go as far as the, almost went as far as the Crossmans, which I'm, I'm really disappointed in, because um, I know the Crossmans are a little cheaper pellets. I mean, I bought that box of 500 for 10 bucks, or not even 10 bucks. I'm surprised. Um, I will start getting new pellets. I almost bought some Crossman pointed today, but they were 175 for five bucks. So I'm gonna look on Pyramid Air see if they got any better deals. Um, as always, guys, I'll see you later. Um, I'll bring more reviews. Um, I will try to upload all the reviews I did, but didn't get to. Like I said, um, I've been having problems with the camera, my computer, and all that. So. Um, this is actually caught into a real, real long video, so I will see you guys later. See ya.